my name is Vasudev. I was born in Mysore and I was brought up in Bangalore. <coughs> then I did my course in science, physics, chemistry, mathematics before uh, going to an art college in Chennai. And I studied art in Chennai Art College. Then uh, a group of artists, we started uh, an artist village uh, called Chola Mandal in Chennai, the outskirts of uh, uh, Chennai city. The reason for starting this village is because it was very difficult for us to make a living in those days on art. So we experimented by doing, extending our art to crafts like batik or metal craft and things like that, which could give us enough income for our livelihood. With that intention, we did for nearly a year or so, we did work in the College of Arts itself. We had a place there for about 25, 30 of us. We jointly started this one. And then uh, when uh, the exhibition was very successful and we could sell out the whole batiks and you know, craft, things like that, that gave us idea that we can make a living on craft, provided we have a place of our own. And even if one, one work for about two and a half, three hours a day, we could make enough for our livelihood. So what we did was we formed a cooperative. We called it Artists Handicrafts Association and bought 10 acres of land at different stages. Uh, you know, and that, then we called it Cholamandal Artist Village. So I lived in Cholamandal Artist Village and uh, I was associated with uh, my other friends, artists there and uh, even our teacher KCS Panikka who was uh, who mooted the idea of this Cholamandal Artist Village he was also living there then I met uh, during my uh, college days I met uh, my classmate was uh, Arnavas she was a painter from a Parsi by birth a painter from uh, Chennai and uh, she studied in the College of Art and we met there became good friends and later we got married now the life in Cholamandal was a, is like, almost like a heaven, you know. It was uh, our own time, what we could do and things like that. And, you know, there are a lot of discussions and um, ups and downs in life. Everything we faced there. It is, uh, then I, I, 1967, I got the national award for my work by the Lithical Academy of Delhi. And uh, then I had a major exhibition of mine in Chennai itself. It was a very successful exhibition that gave me a lot of strength to face the world as an artist. And, and uh, you know, then I started going out to Bombay, Kolkata, Delhi to exhibit my works, to know how the people would react to my works. And, uh, you know, it was a sort of a very successful uh, venture. And, uh, uh, and I really uh, could uh, meet some of the very important artists of the country because of my travel. People like uh, Francis Newton Souza, then you know, Tayeb Mehta and uh, you know, Kishan Khanna and all these people I met at different, Satish Gujral and M.F. Hussain and K.K. Habar. You know, I, I had the opportunity of meeting them, going to their studios, seeing their work, talking to them. All, all these things really helped me to it, it all molded my personality, my personality, you know, and my reaction to things. Then, you know, the, uh, the thing was that uh, I met uh, a theatre personality called Girish Karnad. Girish Karnad moved to Chennai those days from Oxford, where he was uh, studying, and then he became manager of the Oxford University Press in Chennai. And uh, then our friendship grew because uh, we both... Uh, shared the same language. We, I, so I was speaking in Canada and he was speaking in Canada. And so he, he, he really uh, opened my eyes to the best of Canada literature, Canada poetry, Canada you know, theatre. And uh, at the same time, he also started seeing the artworks of uh, College of Art students and Chola Mandal. And he got involved in uh, the art field also that way. Uh, then, you know, I, through him, I met uh, quite a important uh, personalities in literature called A.K. Ramanujan, B.V. Karant, Anantamurthy, Chandrasekhar Kambar, P. Lankesh, all these Kannada writers, stalwarts, and I could meet them. 
and I started doing, uh, you know, cover designs for their books. Um, then, you know, I, in the 70s, early 70s, uh, or uh, late 60s, I went to uh, Dharwar, it's a part of Karnataka. It's uh, about 200 uh, miles from uh, Bangalore. And I had my exhibition there. Then I met one of the leading Kannada poet called Bendre, D.R. Bendre. And uh, his poetry inspired me a lot. And one particularly, what's called Kalpa Vriksha Vrindavana. And uh, so I started painting those, uh, you know, uh, images, what I, what I could see in the poetry. And uh, then slowly the Kalpa Vriksha Vrindavana, the, the Vriksha, the tree, started coming to the center of stage in my painting. And uh, 1975, I had a show in Delhi and one of my friends came and asked me whether I'm influenced by Tree of Life. Then I said, I don't know anything about Tree of Life. Then he, he, he gave me a book and, uh, and I saw the reproductions of the artist's works in theater, Tree of Life. I wondered, you know, I really, I mean, I, had, I was doing without being conscious of that, I was doing all these uh, paintings and it was so much similar to what Tree of Life philosophy was. So I, I, I started uh, you know, understanding the philosophy behind Tree of Life and created my own technique, my own way of uh, uh, putting them together on my canvas. And um, then 1975, I also met uh, one uh, uh, very senior uh, craftsman who was a copper smith, copper worker, and I learned copper work from him. And then I have been working since last 25, 30 years, uh, copper, copper work also, along with my painting, I have been doing that also. So, 1988, you know, it so happened, my uh, wife Arnavas died of cancer, and then I moved to Bangalore, which is my hometown, because my parents, my sisters, they were all living there. And I took my son and put him in a school, J. Krishnamurti school called the Valley School. And uh, there I met the, my present wife, Amu Joseph. She's a journalist. She also moved to Bangalore at the same time and also put her daughter uh, in the same class. And so my son and her daughter became good friends and the classroom classmates. And so it brought us also closer and we married in 1992. And uh, that's my personal life which is going on. And uh, I, I, what I do now is, you know, I, I do work at uh, three places. One is in a house in Bangalore. I have a studio there. And I have uh, a uh, studio in uh, my farmhouse. My father was an agriculturist. So he gave me a piece of land and I built a house there. And um, then I also use my studio come residence in Cholamandal Artist Village in Chennai. So these are the three places where I work from. And in Bangalore, I, it was a different atmosphere altogether from Ch Chennai, you know. And the uh, artist community there are slightly different in their outlook. And uh, so the, I had to adjust myself to the whole situation. And I did that. And uh, today I'm very happy that I'm in Bangalore connected with theater, theater, connected with art activities and uh, connected with whatever is going on there. And uh, in a way, I was responsible to start visual art department at the University of Bangalore and uh, also helped in creating National Gallery of Modern Art in Bangalore. So, and there is another artist cooperative called Ananya Drishya, uh, which has been uh, sort of a helping people to understand art uh, appreciate art. So every month we have lectures by uh, artists, art critics, curators, anyone. And uh, they, they do, and it, it does help people to know what exactly they, the, way, the way they work and their ideas are.